Hey, Chirp Chirpers. Thanks for joining me on another video. We're reviewing TweetDeck right now, and we're just going to do the little walkthrough, check it out, see the features. There's a couple of special features that I really want to point out. But as you can see, if we just log into TweetDeck, all it asks you to do when you log in is to put in your uh, Twitter username and then password, and it will automatically pull everything in here. And then you'll do have to do a little customization as far as creating your own streams. But as you can see in looking at some of the other ones, this is very similar to Hootsuite. And uh, TweetDeck is actually owned by Twitter. And so there's some unique features in here which we're going to talk about. But let's just do a real quick walkthrough. Um, as you can see here, we have on the left-hand side, we have a new tweet. So we can upload it. We can schedule it. We can add images. We can do a direct message. So we have that capability in here. Um, you can obviously have more than one t uh, Twitter account associated with this. So um, that's why they have this checked off. If you had multiple, they would ask you which one. Um, and then on the left hand side, they have all these different uh, little icons, which really just uh, really points out the different streams that you have set up. So they have home, they have notifications, we have messages. Then we go down to activity, which you can see here. And activity is actually a unique feature. So what activity is, is really the activity of your followers. So as you can see here, as it's streaming through, Sue has been following these people. And then you see Marco and Sue's following more people. So everything that our, our, the, your followers are doing, their activity from a following favorites and, um, from a list standpoint is going to be highlighted in this section. And so if we click on this little bar up here, the setting bar, it will actually, you can change some of these features here if you want to, some of the filters. And so here we can actually take out favorites, we could take out lists, we could take out followers, but it defaults to these settings. Uh, content we can change as well. So we can go in here and say tweets with images, videos, media, links, etc. We can add in words um, to match or exclude. And then we can either include or exclude retweets. You can um, do this for specific people. So if you're following somebody and you want to see what they're doing, um, you can actually put this in here. So you can do a specific user, me, verified user, etc. You have options and then you can put in alerts. So that is one of the unique features on here is the activity section. So you can see what people are doing. This could be really useful as far as keeping an eye on um, how maybe a competitor or a client or um, a strategic partner, what they're doing as far as um, liking new people and you can you know work that into somehow um, sparking up a conversation following those people so on and so forth so if we move across here some of these other uh, functionalities is that um, we have the map the mentions the messages and we have the typical stuff and a lot of this you can actually get in Hootsuite the difference here is that actually this is strictly for Twitter so this is has nothing else included that it's just for Twitter. And so you can also use uh, TweetDeck for um, for your purposes of doing Twitter chats. And so you can create a stream with, um, you can create specific streams here, but if you wanna search for something, let's say for a chat, and we're gonna put in dad chat, we can create a stream for that so we can see this. Um, when we search for it, we can look for tweets or users that have that included. Um, and then if we want to just do, we can just add it to a column, create add to a column, and now we have that specific hashtag. And so what we could do is similar to what we were talking about in um, Hootsuite is that we can drag, um, we can actually move this across, and so you can rearrange these. So we want like this, we have to grab this, we throw the mentions down here next to the hashtag for the chat. So when the chat is live, we could see what people are saying in here. We can go ahead and type in our messages at, at that time, what we're doing and mentioning whoever we wanna mention in there. And then we can see what people are saying or replying to us directly in this mentioned stream. So it's a great way 
to use TweetDeck is for the chat. And then you can obviously remove this if you don't want it and you can always add it back. Um, so cool feature there. Uh, another thing is that if you're looking for specific keywords, um, like I put in millennials, I through that search, I actually found this uh, BBJ diversity chat that was going on, it was a conference. I added that as one and then I, I removed it. Um, another thing is that I put in my own name to kind of see what people are saying. Uh, I've had some people mention a recent post that I put on LinkedIn, so now I can go on here and interact with them. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, let's see, so one of the, so if we start searching for keywords, this is a good one, let's just search for it. Uh, this is a unique feature, let's put in, um, let's do small business. So as we start typing this in, there'll be suggestions as far as words, there'll be users, and if we just hit small business, um, we can now then pull up and either decide to add a stream or just see what people are saying about it. And the cool thing here is that you have specific filters that you don't normally get in some of these other um, tools and also in the advanced features on Twitter. So you have content, you can see all tweets, you can filter out specific tweets, um, you can have the languages, which is good because not everything, uh, if you're not a you know, Spanish speaker or don't speak other languages, you obviously don't want to get tweets with that are foreign languages that you don't understand. Um, the biggest thing here is the engagement though, is that you, you obviously have the user capability here, um, but the engagement is pretty unique in the sense that you can put in here if you've got, or if those, um, if you're looking for tweets that have been retweeted a certain amount of times, or if they've been favored, or they've had replies, and so you can filter out um, your search very, very specific in this circumstance. And, and that could be good if you're looking for content that's being talked about, um, that, that are that is engaging. Um, so this is uh, very unique and, and you can get very specific in your search um, filters here. So there you go. Um, tweet deck in a nutshell. If you have any questions, let me know, shoot me an email, and then make sure you move on to the next video here on some of these other um, tools that we'll be reviewing. So. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.